What's up, guys? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. So this past Sunday afternoon, I had the opportunity to check out the inaugural Oktoberfest celebration uh, put on by the Craft and Draft Bottle Bar and held at the Music Farm in Columbia, South Carolina. So again, this Oktoberfest celebration was held at the Music Farm Concert Venue in Columbia, South Carolina. A uh, decent sized venue holds about a thousand people, maybe a little bit more. And so that made for a good amount of space for everything that was going on. Um, I estimated probably a few hundred people were in attendance throughout the event at various times. It was held uh, for most of, most of Sunday afternoon, about four and a half hours. Uh, so there's plenty of room for, uh, for everyone to hang out, get beers. They had a uh, beer set up at the bars in the venue, but also some indiv individual tables with breweries um, set up both inside and outside the concert hall. So made for a nice, um, nice amount of space. Things weren't too crowded, and um, it was a very nice day in Columbia, South Carolina as well. So uh, made for a real nice event there at the Music Farm. So this festival played like uh, the other major beer festival held in Columbia, and that you uh, paid a, a flat fee to get into the, the venue, and then basically got a sample cup. This one, I guess, you got about three to four ounces of beer based on um, how well it got filled, how much head and so forth. So you got a sample cup, and you can basically fill it as many times uh, as you liked over the course of the four and a half hour event. Um, I'm gonna be, I have probably about a dozen beers total that uh, I'm going to be doing for beers interview written entries over the next few weeks. But um, just a couple of the highlights that um, that I really enjoyed when I was there um, include included the uh, low tide broody hen, it was a peach habanero IBA, uh, IPA. Uh, with a, a, a nice habanero pepper kick. Uh, ramped up a little bit as as you drank it, but um, wasn't too too killer. Didn't uh, didn't overpower your throat or didn't burn too badly or anything like that. Uh, maybe a little bit of a black pepper uh, flavor along with uh, a peach and some funk. There was a bit of a hot bite towards the back and some creamy mouthfeel. And again, that pepper it would uh, sit in the back of the throat, but it wasn't um, so overpowering that you. You know, you couldn't drink anything else or something like that. Um, one of the other top beers I thought was the Southern Barrel Wild Bramble, a fruited Berliner Weiss. Um, fruited with, let me check my notes here, sorry. Fruited with blackberries and raspberries. Um, blackberries especially came through, I can tell you. Let me find my notes, yeah. Uh, it was a pretty uh, color of raspberry, I would say, and a little bit hazy. Um, you get uh, tart raspberries, um, most especially for me. I think raspberries and blackberries uh, taste fairly similar, but I'm more familiar with raspberries, so that's what it evoked for me. Uh, crisp finish, overall just a really light, crisp, refreshing, uh, tasty Berliner Weiss. Um, real nice beer. Again, those are just two of, again, about a dozen offerings I have to write about and uh, about 50 beers in total. Again, a lot of really uh, seasonal beers or less distributed beers. And um, a really great event that was put on by Craft and Draft and the Music Farm. Hopefully they'll be able to do it again next year. Uh, you can find all of our reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. You can also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. All those links will be in the description below. And if you are so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. That does it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.